What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now check it out, you done read the title so you know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is. Hey listen, even when I go over the ingredients, you're gonna see that I don't have like a, I can't really like tell you everything. I'm gonna give you guys an ingredient and I'm gonna show you how to make country breakfast skillet. You know what, it's just super simple. Look, we just gonna go ahead and get right into these ingredients, right? So listen, this is for me, if a couple of people is eating it, look, four eggs is good. Get yourself a bell pepper. Hey, for those of you guys that like to do that, you know, like raise the presentation up and even the flavor, you can use red, green, or yellow, or all three. It doesn't make a difference. We're gonna use a little bit of this uh, parsley right here for garnish. We got some uh, shredded cheddar cheese, and this right here is gonna be key. Listen, you want that thick cut. Let me turn it this way. See that? Thick cut. Listen, because we when this fat renders down, you know what, we gonna cook the potatoes in that and yada, yada, yada. You guys know, especially if you've been following this channel. And here, I'm just using three red potatoes, right? I'm just gonna dice these down. I'm gonna clean them all up, cut them down into cubes and go like that. This is good for like two people. I mean, if you guys ain't eating that much, maybe you can get a third. Just double what you see right here and this will go ahead and get you right, you know, for a family of four. Salt and pepper. Then I got extra virgin olive oil. Hey, outside of that, I don't wanna like over talk it. Let's go ahead, let's prep this uh this bacon and let's get it. Okay, so look, very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our cast iron skillet up to uh, temp. What you can do is, if you gotta give it any pre-thought, you can always stick this in the oven, you know what I mean? So it'll get an even, you know, warm temperature right throughout the whole thing. You can put it in your oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. But since you're going, if we starting off dry like this, I'm gonna put this on a medium. I'm gonna hit start. Now we're gonna transition over here to this, uh, to the bacon. Now look, I got 10 slices of bacon. I'm gonna use the whole pack. Look, I'm just gonna take it just like this and we're just gonna cut it just like really in like one inch you know pieces this right here is cool hey i'm gonna talk a little bit about this knife and i want to say thank you to everybody i know i'm late thank you to everybody that purchased one of these knives you know for christmas listen they sold out for christmas they back in stock this right here is fire if you want to learn any more about this knife look down in the description box below and it'll be pinned in the number one comment now after that little plug let's continue Okay, so look, you just saw me cut the bacon. You know what I mean? For those of you guys that's probably gonna use uh, turkey bacon or something like that, it's not gonna render as much fat, and that's where this olive oil comes in at. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit anyway, just in here, you know, just a little bit. I know it's gonna make its own, you know what I mean? I put it on medium high. This is already, you know, nice and hot. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just start adding these. Okay, so, now you guys can see, I got myself a paper plate. I just lined it, you know, just put a paper uh, uh, a paper towel on top. This right here, as far as I like to go right here, because look, we gonna cook it a little bit more anyway. So you wanna get yourself a slotted spoon. Look at that right there. Ah, yeah, let it drip, and then just add them. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have the right tools when you cooking, or even for whatever job that you're doing, makes your job so much more easier. Now, some of you guys might like yours like super crispy, and you can just cook them a little bit more. But for me, I like the in-between, the crispiness, and I like it to have a little texture. Like, I like to see that little fat part. You see how this moves like this? But as it dries and it releases this uh, bacon fat onto this napkin, they start to crisp it up even more. So this right here, this comes from experience but we all know how to make bacon. Okay, so look, now we're gonna go ahead and just cut this bell pepper down. Okay, look, I'm not giving it no real dice. You know, this I call this more of a chop. You know, we'll just do it like this and we'll get to use the render down in the bacon fat also. Super easy. This right here, this is sufficient. It's up to you. If you guys wanna do dice, you can do that too. Just cut them up. This right here, I, I like this size. I'm good with that. Okay, so you just saw me do the, the, uh, the bell pepper, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, potatoes. I want you guys to take a look. For me, I don't dice no more. I got myself one of these, because look, it just make life so much easier. Even though I'm gonna stick this in here and pull these out and they gonna look like french fries, then all I gotta do is cut them this way. Super easy to do. You guys check this out right here. 
Just put it in that way. Go ahead, start pushing it through. Okay, so now you guys can see, they come out like french fries, right? All you gotta do is cut them and you make your own diced potatoes. Super easy. Let me finish the rest of these and then let's finish up this cook. Okay, so you saw that part. Look, I'm just gonna give you guys a demonstration of what I was talking about just so you can get yourself a visual, right? This way, cut, 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 cut. Now you guys got it. You want them to all be about the same size, right? Just like that. All right, potatoes done, bell peppers done, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I can see a little heat coming off of this. I got it on medium high heat. I done brought my bacon fat back up to uh, temp. I'm gonna start with my bell peppers first, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. Now we're gonna cook these until they about golden uh, brown. On medium high, these three uh, red potatoes, I'm gonna say it probably take about eight to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get these started. Okay, I set a timer, right? I actually set my timer for 10 minutes. Remember, I'm on medium high. I got everything mixed up, right? So I take myself a toothpick. I just take my toothpick and I just, oh yeah, they ready. I still wanted to have some integrity, but I want it to be soft. This right here is good. Now remember, I'm using an induction top, right? So heat is concentrated in the beginning, you know, in the middle, and then it sprays out. So then we want to check some of these. Oh man, this is ready. Now, I like that. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my bacon. We're gonna bring that back into play. We're just gonna put this in here like that. I'm gonna give it a stir. Then we're gonna take it all out. We're gonna get to the eggs. See if they too soft. When you even rolling them like this and turning them, and as they tumble, they'll break up. But this right here, they done right. Now, we come back to that slotted, you know, spoon. We drip, and we just take all of our contents out, right? Just like you see. Look at that. Now remember, you can add onions, red, yellow, bell peppers, whatever you would like. But this right here, just like super simple. And more than likely, if this is a last minute idea, you just had a great night. You know what I mean? You wake up in the morning, you was like, hey, you know what? Let me just make myself some breakfast. You can put this together in about, about 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm bringing this back up to temp. I'm just gonna put a couple of little pieces of butter in the inside right here. That's not, hey, this is just for me. That was enough bacon grease in there to cook the eggs. All right, butter's melted. Right? Now I'm gonna take my egg. Now you gotta do it however you like to do it. I'm gonna do it this way. For those of you guys that don't like to have your yolk, you know, where you can, you know, like puncture it, you can either flip it and do sunny, you know, over easy. You can make them over easy hard, or you can just sim simply scramble them. You know what I mean? And maybe put them in a the ring, because of the presentation is what I'm, I'm going for right now. So, right? We'll just hit it like this. We'll just put it right there, and we let it go. Same thing, we're gonna do that. So we can have at least four of these in here. Now, if you guys have been watching me for a minute, you know I like my eggs over easy. I can hear y'all now, oh, I don't like my egg that way. Okay, so that was the last one. Look at that right there, you see I cracked the yolk. Some of y'all are probably applauding right now, but check it out. Now it's time to go ahead and hit it with this salt and pepper. Now, kosher salt, open this up. Just give it a little pinch. We're gonna start adding this around it. This is how we gonna do this. Super easy, it's gonna look beautiful. Everybody gonna want some. Just like you see, don't worry if a little bit get on the egg, that's cool too. Cause guess what folks, we gonna take this and we gonna serve it inside of this skillet. Okay, so there it go. Now, it wouldn't be complete until we put a little cheese on here and let this kind of like do its thing and let it melt. That's up to you. For you cheese lovers out there, if you want to add a whole lot of cheese, you can do that. I just like to put a little bit here on the top like that so I can taste all my flavors. This right here is just a, I added little bonus. You know, we'll do just like this, y'all. Okay, so here it is. You guys can put this out on your table and if you got four people, probably really like I'm gonna say this, man, two people probably knock off this. Maybe this will feed three. I know it's got four eggs in it, but whatever. You know what I mean, uh, do you. I'm gonna take some of that parsley that I just cut. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on here just to add a little bit more color, especially to the, to the yellow, you know? And uh, other than that, you know, I'm ready. 
I already hit it with a little salt and pepper. You know what I mean? Uh, I can't wait to dig in. Look, one of my favorite foods is uh, meal times is, is like breakfast food. Y'all don't know it, but I eat a lot of breakfast throughout the day. Yeah, you know I mean, throughout the uh, week. And a lot of times it's at night. Hey, so that's it. Let me go ahead and grab this. Let me get something. Hold on one second. All right, got me a little plate. I'm gonna go ahead and get under this. Get my egg and just do it just like you see. I don't know if y'all can tell. I got a toothpick in my mouth too. You know what I mean? Toothpick and my mouth is watering. I'm gonna go ahead and get me some because I'm finna eat me some. Hey, but that's it right there. Look, just an easy, you know, country style breakfast skillet made super simple. All right, let's get it. All right, let me go ahead and take this toothpick out, get my fork. Let me just go ahead. Hey, the potatoes are done just right. When you do them just right, man, I, I can't really explain it. Listen, they, they fork tender. You know what I mean? Let me get a little bit of this cheese, a little bit of this bacon. You know? Hey, anyway, cheers, y'all. I don't know. I think I got to go back in, you know, just to check, double check it. Hey, I can't say nothing about it. It's a country style, you know, breakfast killer. Super easy to make, big on flavor. Look, the uh, bacon was cooked just right. I got my eggs the way I like it. And I want y'all to let me know down in the comment section below. You know, what you think about, and tell me how you guys like your eggs. But for me, mm, I can't even talk. Now, at the end of my videos, it's getting more and more about me, about me eating <laughs> than it is me cooking and showing you guys. Hey, let me wash this down, get my mouth cleaned up, and let's wrap this up. All right, so you guys just seen it. You saw how easy it was. I hope I didn't over talk it. I can just tell you it's like good. It's no, hey, it's leveled up because we cooked it at home. We used bacon grease, so we got all kind of flavors, everything marinated in the it's all the way down to the eggs, a little bit of butter I put in there, the cheese, you know, the bell pepper. Hey, make this, come back and just let me know. Really what you're gonna tell me is, I know I got it, it's good, but I want to find out from you guys just how easy it is, you know, to make, just the ease of the make. Now, check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button, right? And tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, you know what? I slowed it down for those of you guys that make it to the end that hear this, you know, and then heard it a hundred times so you can say it along with me. Hey, and with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.